Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in to this week's talk topic. The sirens just interrupting that was disgraceful. Are they being for real? I know I'm living in the city, but are they being for real? Okay, they're fading. <laughs> Anyway, in this week's video, we're going to be discussing the topic of embracing your authenticity and what it means to truly be your unique and authentic self. Let me just say a little disclaimer. So authenticity is clearly something that I cannot teach you and no one can teach you how to be authentic. But I think what is truly inspiring is observing other people embracing their authenticity and just bring in what they have to give to the table like sharing our gifts and expressing ourselves expressing our creativity and our arts and our talents so this is something i know i'm capable of doing i know i inspire people who tune into my content it's basically just shedding a light on this subject of being authentic and how it's made me feel on my journey i feel like i've always been a very almost different kind of person i've always known that about myself that i'm different but when you truly step into embodying that with confidence it just allows you to just radiate so much high vibe and attractive energy living in a world that so often feels chaotic and overwhelming it can be really easy to lose sight of who you truly are we're bombarded with expectations comparisons and pressures which put us inside a box and really limit our self-awareness and our ability to express who we truly are but what i'm here to tell you is the key to finding your true path all lies within you and that we're all alone in this together in my most recent video i spoke about embracing the natural flow of life and nature and allowing it to guide us rather than trying to force which ties into what we're going to discuss today and how these concepts allow us to be in harmony with ourselves and the world around us. So as we can all observe, nature doesn't try to be anything other than what it is. A tree does not compare itself to the trees around it. A river does not worry about where it's flowing, it just flows. Everything happens effortlessly. Everything moves in a way that reflects true divine presence in the present moment nature is living it just simply exists in perfect authenticity allowing itself to grow and flourish and to just be so the ancient spiritual philosophy of taoism goes into these concepts and it shows us that we are here to embody those same concepts which nature does we are here to simply just be, to experience to have this human physical experience so knowing that everything else which we choose to do is just add-ons to the way we desire to express our creativity it's just add-ons but at our purest state at our beings as humans we are here just to be so expressing what you choose to through your life's work is equally as beautiful as doing nothing which doesn't exist anyway when we embrace being our true authentic self we follow our own unique path and along with that comes in the utmost fulfillment and a higher level of awareness of oneself because to truly understand this outside world you need to get to know in here you need to explore your soul and your mind and you need to do the work to unlearn all the conditioning you have been through up until this point the outside world can very easily manipulate our mind and our ego to conforming and to feeling like we don't have the ability to be our true selves but all of that is an illusion which we need to break free of your soul and your heart is strong and resilient when you put your energy when you put your focus into this side of life instead of all the ego traps and the focus of trying to fit in we become like the river effortlessly flowing towards our destiny opportunities and people are drawn to you like no other because you are on your highest true path so how could 
the people who are meant for you not find you? If you're following your true authenticity, how could everything your heart's desire not find you? This is going into the law of attraction, which is always at play. So if you're embodying your true authentic self, there's no way that you would not be attracting and drawing in experiences which are for your highest good because you will be in true alignment with your highest timeline and the destiny which feels the best for your soul. This state is when you align with your soul tribe, okay? And on this spiritual path, it is something we all go through, that state of isolation, that state of miscommunication and feeling like nobody understands what we truly want or need, like nobody gets us. But as soon as you start living authentically, pushing past the limitations and the fear and the doubt that other people are gonna not accept you for who you truly are. That's when you start drawing in the people who are on your vibe, on your frequency, here to experience the same or similar things as you and have similar life missions. And I'm talking from experience, the people who are in my life now, <laughs> let me just say thank you. Thank you so much because I was that lost kid for a while who just felt like I was so different and no one could really resonate to my level of awareness or understanding of the universe but now the people who I have around me by choice are the most beautiful souls who help me on my path who inspire me who allow me to feel good who test me who teach me like there's so much depth to these relationships because of who I am, because of the depth that I reflect, because I'm reflecting that outwardly in ev every day, in every way. Once again, how could I not draw that in? Because I am the embodiment of that. You cannot go wrong with this logic and quote me on all of it because I'm so passionate about this topic because it is the one true, it's the one true objective for me. And I know it is one of my life purposes to reflect this authenticity, which I've been gifted with. It's it's always been a big, big part of my persona, being different, being authentic to Amaya. And people really appreciate that in you. And it's when you just become aware of it within yourself and how much of a gift it is. And can you really like start to channel it and just dive even deeper into discovering and exploring yourself. And it's truly amazing. So once I stopped trying to fit into other people's expectations and society overall, that's when I started drawing in experiences which I could only visualise before. When I would see myself just even being in certain um, environments in nature, I didn't know how I would almost get there. Like, how am I going to find these people that are going to want to do the same things as me, that are going to want to sit outside and meditate and go on long walks and hikes and just be out immersed in nature I, d I didn't know how i was gonna find that because i wasn't there yet but i continued to be true to myself and follow my path even though i was a bit lost a bit just fresh to everything i was going through now i can see the bigger picture although it's not easy to go against the norm there's so much power in that because i can't even lie why do you want to be like everyone else like why is that so glamorized nowadays the only way you can truly be different is to be yourself because no one can embody what is true to you because they haven't been through the things you have they haven't felt or seen or experience anything that you've been through so why are you trying to live to a standard of someone else when how they feel about themselves probably isn't even a projection of where you want to get to or where you want to go you've really got to live for you we are all alone in this together and i think that's such a beautiful phrase to make yourself aware of because yes we are all, all here alone we came here alone and we die alone everyone is experiencing their own reality their own version of this universe so in that sense you need to also be living a different life one that works for you one that supports you one that nurtures your body your mind your soul because we're all different we're all one but we're all different and we all have a different purpose here so you really need to go down your own path and 
not be afraid to do so because the utmost joy and fulfillment comes from taking that step of faith and that step into the unknown because you're not going to truly know until you embody it until you choose to experience it energy flows where intention goes so you being here right now watching this video you have the intention set the intention to go within to find out who you truly are and you will get there i really kind of understand that it's not easy to break free of what's normal or what society accepts and expects to be the way you live your life but it's all about a journey of self-acceptance. In order to live authentically to you, you need to continue to accept yourself, release judgment. And the way I like to look at judgment is we judge ourselves. The only reason you'll ever be concerned if other people are judging you is because you have judgment that you're casting on yourself, which is giving you that insecurity. So as soon as you heal and work on accepting yourself for who you truly are and who you know yourself to be or or whatever you want to discover yourself to be that's when the outside world isn't a problem anymore because you'll realize that you are creating all of your experiences so why not literally shift timelines why not shift on a higher timeline that's going to support you and your growth and your evolution in this life we are not the fear that our mind sets on us. That is not real. When you think people are judging you, when you think other people are observing what you're doing and are gonna not accept you for who you truly are, that is a reflection of them. And it's also a reflection of your own fears. So always stay aware of how you feel when it comes to being true to yourself because that, will, that indication there is showing you exactly what you need to work on. Just internalize it all. Like just see it all as learning. You're literally learning yourself. We're constantly learning who we are. Like just don't run from it. Just embrace the journey. At our true essence, we are love. And I always talk about this because it's true. We are love. And we all have the ability to tap in to our creativity and to express ourselves authentically. And as women, we are here to create and to express. That is one of our innate purposes. You cannot be denied that you have the desire to express yourself. And it can take time. It can be a whole journey in itself, even to just get to that point of knowing what you want to create or knowing which direction your heart's pulling you. But like I said, just listen, tap into your body. You really need to do the work to learn yourself. Otherwise, how can you be out here expecting people to know you if you don't even know yourself? Like that doesn't exist. You can only understand the world around you as deeply as you've looked in and in a stood yourself. So let's just take it one day at a time. Like I've said again and again, only you truly know what you want and what you need. So just continue to tap into that, that heart's desire, the highest level of consciousness, which is love, which is enlightenment. And we can all feel this guidance through tapping into our heart and to our soul, rather than staying in the 3D and just listening to what our mind wants us to listen to. Because a lot of the time that's learnt behavior, that's not, the truth that's not us at our true essence it is a process of unlearning unlearning the the conditioning we have been brought up with because this world really does manipulate us to seek validation from people you don't even know or care about whether that's putting yourself online uh stepping out into the world and just constantly feeling insecure about who you're who you choose to embody just know you have it in you to build up your own confidence don't accept the fact you're not confident, you're insecure, or that you're anxious, or that you can't, because that's just trusting in a negative belief. You really have the ability to flip anything round. So if you want to put your trust and your faith in that fact, which isn't even supporting you, why not put your trust and faith in a fact which is going to liberate you? It's all just about your mindset and the way you choose to look at things and the work you want to do to constantly affirm to yourself on a daily basis who you are and who you desire to be. I am affirmations are so important when it comes to reprogramming our mind. How do you expect to feel and to know a belief if 
If your mind hasn't even been taught the concept of what it means to feel this way, you really need to teach yourself the embodiment of what you desire to be and that is by reprogramming your mind. I can feel that this message may even feel scary because your ego is trying to run away from the concept of doing these scary things like stepping outside your comfort zone, but that is all okay and that is all divine. You need to feel that. Authenticity can be scary, but like I said, you are here listening to this video for a reason. So clearly in some area of your life, you need to channel your true self in order to get what you truly want. It's time to embark on your own path and know that you are alone, but we are all alone in this together. There's so much power in accepting that your path is yours to create. Your path is unique. You cannot live for no one else but you. While we're here living this life, why not make it the utmost fulfilling experience that we can possibly have? And this comes from diving within. Please trust me, it is worth it. From my heart, it is worth it. Authenticity is magnetic and will draw in everything that is aligned with your highest timeline, your highest, your highest state of being comes from being your truest self. Hear me now, we can learn our lessons so efficiently and I know I learn my lessons real quick, which is why anything I'm in, I get through at a rate that's like, that's not meant for you. Yes, you had to be faced with that experience to actually learn and to know that it's not meant for you. But because I continue to be true to myself and stay pure hearted, the universe will work with me to get rid of anything that is not meant for me, any stagnant energy, any people or circumstances which don't support my highest good because I'm a pure hearted person and all I give out is love and acceptance of others. That's what my life shows me back. Yes, we all struggle. Yes, we all go through pain and suffering, but you do really choose what frequency you want to align on. You need to choose what auric field you are holding around you and the vibe you choose to embody on a daily basis. Like I said, authenticity is magnetic. People are drawn to me because they can feel how true to myself I am. No one can do it like me because there's only one Amaya and because I'm so true to my being. God, this is making me laugh. <laughs> Not be bigging myself up, but it's true. Like, it's honestly true. And if you know me, whether you know me just through the camera or you know me in real life, you know I embody that. And it makes me beautiful. It makes me who I am. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that is power like just knowing that about yourself is true power honestly <laughs> i'm almost done i promise but if you're comforting to other people's standards and that is conforming and why would you do that because you are brilliant at your core at your who you are is amazing you need to explore that and even with our flaws they're just showing us what we can do to be better and it's only up from there but who you truly are is more than enough you are so special just by being you so please know it like know it you hold magic and passion and realness and empathy that make you you please do not hold yourself back any longer i believe in you i truly do i believe you have the strength to break free of anything that's holding you back anything that's making you feel fearful or doubtful of your abilities or your passions please break free of it because it's all an illusion only you get to truly decide who you are and who you want to be but to do so you need to step away you need to step away from everyone else which you feel like has some sort of control over you i do truly believe that everyone can find themselves if you're willing to do the work if not that is okay that may not be your purpose on this earth to you know be completely authentic everyone has their own purpose and i feel like every version of human is here in this experience so everyone kind of has to fill every single role um but in the same sense we do still all have the ability to be true to ourselves authenticity is a gift embrace it 
thank you so much for watching this video i've actually really enjoyed speaking on this topic as you can tell it's something i'm passionate about and something i choose to embody in all that i do especially moving forward i just desire my heart desires and who i truly am just wants to continue to open up more and more through my understanding of myself and to just give you realness like that's all i desire to be here i just want to be real and i hope you can feel that yeah so embrace this message and watch as your highest path unfolds before you weekly videos are out every friday thank you so much once again for watching one love bye